Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So here we are on the post show page. I have made some changes here. I have added the created that and also the username here. The title created that username and the content. And in this video, I'm going to work with exceptions. I had a comment on YouTube and let's start and work with that. So if I open the controller here, the post controller, and let's go to show method here we use the route model binding passing the model here post or assign post here we get that post from the id okay so here we have the id and behind the scenes laravel is going to do this one so here we get id and laravel is going to say post and using post find or fail so if i save that the same thing but what this find or fail is going to do so here we have the not found exceptions. So if we use the find or fail or first or fail methods, we will retrieve the first results of the query. However, if no results is found and model not found exception will be thrown. Okay. Now, if the model not found exception is not caught, a 404 HTTP response is automatically sent back to the client. And as you can see, if I go now to uh, a model we don't have that we have this 404 not found so uh, if the model not found except exception is not caught a 404 HTTP response is automatically sent back and we have here this 404 response now let's go and uh, if you like you can say try and got here so try to find this post but if it's going to fail we are going to cut the error and we can say cut and we know now this is a model not found exception okay so if I go back again here to the find or fail and first or fail methods will retrieve the first results of the query however if no results is found a model not found exception will be thrown and here we have the model not found exception okay so instead of onboarding 404 i'm going to say return uh, dollar sign exception and i'm going to use the get uh, message let's save and let's come here we have no query so this is the message so we can also just die and dump dollar sign exception and let's see yeah, we have the message, the code, the file, the model, and the IDs, which is an array. And we have only this ID. And as you can see, this is a model not found exception. Okay, so let's go back and you can uh, return a view here or do what you like. Or you can create a new exception and throw that exception there. But I'm going to remove back the previously, so add the route use the route model binding and now let's open the app inside the bootstrap here we have this with exceptions and let's start and work here i'm going to leave this one here and say exceptions render function model not found exception and if i say just die and dump dollar sign exception and Let's come here and refresh. Now we have 404. And that is because, as you can see here, if the model not found exception is not caught, a 404 HTTP response is automatically sent back. So now we have a 404 response. If I say not found exception here, and I refresh, now we have this uh, is a not found HTTP exception, the message, and also the previous is model not found exception, as you can see. So if I say previous, the refresh, now we have that this is a model not found exception. And for example, we can say if this, so if the exception is 
instance of uh, model found exception returns a view but for now let's just say return json message post not found and if i come here and refresh yeah we have 404 not found but if i say instance the exception get previous is instance of model not found exception we refresh now we have the message post not found and you can do what you like or you can return a view a custom view but by default so let's just comment this and come here and refresh we have this 404 not found by default you can go on the resources views and create a directory named errors as you can see i have created this and also i have created a 404 blade file which is this one now i have added an underscore here but just let me rename the just errors and just by adding this errors 404 now let's come here and refresh we have a custom 404 page so you can create a 404 page on inside the errors directory and this is going to be by the default one also a new 500 blade if you want to customize the 500 errors or the 403 so let's just me duplicate this i'm going to save as a 403 and now let me just go and register say register here and let's say i want to go to this one and edit this so let's say edit we're going to have 403 but as you can see now we have 404 and instead of that we have this svg let me say here a hedge one Four of three error. If I save and come here, you can see we have four of three error here, and you can customize how you like. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video. What I wanted to show you. If you like such a video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.